But just over a year ago, 12 of European football's biggest clubs attempted to form a breakaway Super League. Now, the proposed Super League was the brainchild of the Real Madrid president, Florentino Perez, who said clubs like his needed the new league to effectively um, to financially compete uh, with the likes of PSG and Manchester City, both of whom are bankrolled by the sovereign funds of Middle Eastern governments. Now, the people who are against the league are ranged from everyone from the governing bodies like UEFA and FIFA to the average uh, football fan in the street. And they felt that the league was a bit of a closed shop and as a result, didn't offer proper competition. Now, with all that opposition, the league pretty much failed to get off the ground uh, as soon as it got started. Uh, so now the three clubs that are still left that officially support the league, so that's Real Madrid, Barcelona and Juventus, well, they've taken their case to the European Courts of Justice in Luxembourg. They claim that UEFA are in breach of European competition law. Now, if the European Courts of Justice rule in their favour, it could change who holds the balance of power in world football. Is it the uh, governing bodies or is it the elite clubs? A final decision is not expected until 2023.